coming up. In this video, you will learn three different ways to add breadcrumbs to your WordPress website using Beaver Builder. Breadcrumbs are an important part of your website. They not only tell your visitors where they are on your site, but they also help Google to better understand how your site is structured. For more information on breadcrumbs and why they are important for SEO, I will link up to an article from Yoast in the description below this video. The first method I am going to share with you is how to add a breadcrumb provided by the Yoast SEO plugin to the Beaver Builder child theme. In this example, we will be adding a snippet of code to your child themes function.php file. I will leave a link to this article in the description below this video. Note that there are two versions of the code. The first displays the breadcrumb on all pages and posts of your site. And the second displays the breadcrumb everywhere except for a static homepage. Let's go ahead and copy the code to have the breadcrumb appear on all pages and posts except for the homepage. Next, let's head over to our WordPress website. You will need to have both the Beaver Builder theme, a child theme, as well as the Yoast SEO plugin installed and activated on your WordPress site. If you're wondering whether you need to install the child theme, I will link up to an article with more information on this topic in the description below. Once you have Yoast SEO plugin installed and activated, we will need to enable Yoast breadcrumbs. From your WordPress dashboard, click on SEO. If this is your first time using Yoast SEO on your site, then you will want to take a minute to configure the plugin with the optimal SEO settings. As of this video, you will see a notification bar at the top to help you get started with the Yoast SEO configuration workout. Once you've configured the Yoast SEO plugin and you're ready to enable breadcrumbs, go ahead and click on search appearance and breadcrumbs you can further customize how the breadcrumbs will appear on your site. Once you are ready to proceed, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Enabled in the Breadcrumbs Settings section. Once you've finished up, don't forget to save your changes. The next step is to paste the code that we copied earlier to your child themes function.php file. To do this, go to Appearance, click on Theme Editor, you want to make sure that the Beaver Builder child theme is selected. Scroll down and click the functions.php to display the file and paste the code here. Once you've pasted the code, go ahead and click update file to save your changes. Now let's take a look at the front end of our site to see what it looks like. The next way to add breadcrumbs is using Beaver Themer. And I really like this way of doing things, especially since you're able to have more control over where the breadcrumb appears on a page and in your site in general. Again, we will need to start out by making sure that we have the Yoast SEO plugin installed and activated, as well as the Beaver Themer add-on plugin. Just like in the last example, we will need to enable breadcrumbs for this method to work. From your WordPress dashboard, click on SEO and search appearance. At the top of the page, click on the breadcrumbs tab and scroll down and make sure that breadcrumbs are enabled and go ahead and save your changes. Next, we will need to create a themer layout. Go ahead and click on Beaver Builder and themer layouts. Click add new. Let's start by giving our new themer layout a title. I'm just going to use breadcrumbs, choose Themer layout for type and for layout, choose part. Go ahead and click add themer layout. In this example, let's set the position to after header, which means this part will appear below the header. For location, choose which types of pages you want the breadcrumb to appear on. And in this example, I want the breadcrumb to appear on the entire site except for the home page. So I'll choose location, entire site. And then let's add an exclusion rule and exclude the home page. Go ahead and click publish to save your settings. 
And next, we'll click Launch Beaver Builder to open up the editor. In order to add our breadcrumb using Yoast, we will need to add a short code. And we can do this by dragging and dropping an HTML module onto the page and add the Yoast breadcrumb short code. Click Save. Go ahead and adjust this row by clicking on the row settings icon and adding any additional styling that you wish. Once you've finished up, go ahead and click Done and Publish. The Yoast breadcrumb should now appear in the location that we specified. And the third way that we can add a breadcrumb to Beaver Builder is to use a plugin called PowerPack for Beaver Builder. PowerPack works alongside the Beaver Builder plugin and will help you save time and build websites more efficiently. One of the reasons that I love this method so much is that it allows you to work with a variety of SEO plugins, including Yoast, Rank Math, and SEO Press. Another reason why I love this method is that the breadcrumbs module allows you to customize your breadcrumbs even further without the need to know how to code. For this method, you will need to make sure that you have the PowerPack for Beaver Builder plugin installed and activated on your site. Once you have installed the PowerPack plugin, click on the Beaver Builder editor to open up the page on which you want to place the breadcrumbs. Next, go ahead and drag and drop the breadcrumbs module from PowerPack onto the page. Go ahead and select the SEO plugin that you are using in the select type field. Since we have Yoast installed and activated, we are going to go ahead and click Yoast. Next, set the alignment of the breadcrumbs. You can also add additional styling to your breadcrumbs using the settings on the style tab. I hope you found this video useful where I share with you how to add breadcrumbs to your WordPress website using Beaver Builder. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.